Hey what's up guys and welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft 1.10.2 server on a Mac. Before we get started, I do want to mention that this isn't a 24 hour server and this also isn't the safest method of doing this. For instance, if you give this IP address to someone who you don't really trust, they can take your internet offline, find out where you live. It could cause a whole bunch of problems, but if you just give this to friends and family, you should be okay. If you do want a server that you can just give out to anyone though, check out thebreakdown.xyz slash apex. That will give you a 24 hour secure server that you can play with any of your friends, family or just anyone publicly. Check that out, it's the first link down in the description below. So the first thing you need to do to set up this server for your Minecraft game is to go to the second link in the description, it's minecraft.net slash en slash download slash server. Like I said, that'll be the second link down below. What you need to do is download Minecraft underscore server 1.2.10.jar. So what this will do is download a file to your downloads folder. You can go ahead and drag it to your desktop and then create a new folder and name it Minecraft underscore server. So then simple enough, drag this file into this folder, make sure it's in there and you're good to go. So the next thing you need to do to get this working properly is to download the Java SE development kit. To do this, it's the third link down in the description below and you will want this one right here. So click that, download it, go through the installation process. If you have any trouble opening the file, what you need to do is go to System Preferences and then pull up Gatekeeper. If it isn't letting you open the file, there should be a warning down here saying that you've downloaded this from an unidentified developer. That's completely fine as long as it's this file. Go ahead and approve it for this, enter your password if it needs it, and it should open up from there. So the next thing you need to do to get your server working is just go ahead and double click this file right here. It's going to say the same thing earlier, uh, Minecraft server 1.10.2 can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Click OK, go into system preferences, type gatekeeper, it'll pull up the security and privacy window and just click open anyway open and it should go ahead and open the application. So after it opens up you're going to see a few more documents pop up in this folder. Go ahead and double click on eula.txt and down here where it says eula equals false change that to say true. So after you've agreed to the eula go ahead and double click on the minecraft underscore server dot jar again and it should open up and put a few more documents in here. So once it's done it's going to say down here info done. Uh, what you need to do is just go ahead and type stop. This will go ahead and end the server. The window will go away, but as you can see, it's added a few more files to the folder. So the next thing you need to do is go to System Preferences and then go to Network. From here, click on Advanced, and then you're going to want to click on TCP slash IP. This is gonna pull up your IPv4, your subnet mask, and your router number. So the next thing you wanna do is go back to your Minecraft server folder and go to your server.properties folder and open that in text edit. What you'll need to do from here is search for the server-ip and then you need to go ahead and paste your IPv4 address right there. Save the document and you can go ahead and close out of that. So what you need to do now is go ahead and copy your router number which is right there. Go to your internet browser, open a new tab and paste that number in your address bar. So mine has already gone ahead and logged me in, but if it doesn't log you in and asks for a username and password, you can find the default username and password down below, it's the fourth link. If it's not that, ask the person who set up your network and they should be able to give you that login information for your router backend. So once you're logged in, it could look exactly like this or it could look completely different, but what you're looking for is forwarding, port forwarding, apps and games, something along the lines of that. For me, it's just set up to forwarding. And from here, you need to go ahead and add a new port forward. So for you, it could say service port or it might say external port. Whichever one it says, go ahead and type in 25565. And then for internal port, go ahead and type the same thing. For the IP address, go back to system preferences and copy and paste your IPv4 address. So for protocol, it can either be set to all or it might for you say TCP slash UDP. Whichever one it is, you want to make sure that both are selected in some way. For me, it just says all. For status, leave it enabled, and for common service port, you can just leave that blank. Once you're done, click save, and you're done in this window for now. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and run the server and join it using your IPv4 address. So double click on the server right here, and it should pull up a new terminal window. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft and join this server using your IPv4 address. 
So what you need to do once Minecraft is launched is go to multiplayer, click on direct connect and go back to system preferences and copy and paste your IPv4 address. Click join server and it should log you into your server. So I seem to have um, spawned underwater which is interesting. But anyway, as you can see here, I am joined in the server right there. It says Patrick Fassler, which is my username. So this is how you can join your server locally. But let's say you want to give this out to your friends so they can join and play with you. In order to do that, what you need to do is go back to your browser, open a new tab, and go to Google. Once you're here, what you need to do is type in IP, just two letters, hit enter, and your IP address is going to show up right here. Now make sure you don't give this out to anyone if you don't trust them. All you need to do, copy and paste this, disconnect from the server, and do another direct connect. And here you can copy and paste the server address for your public IP address. Hit join server and it'll log you in. As you can see, I can go back to the terminal window. And as you can see, I'm right there. As well as I have had my business partner and the other person doing videos on this channel join the server so you can see there you are right here. So there you go guys, this is an easy way to set up a server. Remember this is not a 24-7 server. Uh, if you have this up all the time, it is going to slow your computer down. Also, make sure that you don't give this out to people you don't trust. Don't give it out to random people on the internet because they will be able to have some access to your internet and it can completely mess you up. To get a 24-7 server, completely safe, secure, and completely separate from your IP address, what you need to do is go to the breakdown.xyz slash apex, and there you can get a really affordable 24-7 secure Minecraft server that you can play with anyone on. So that's the first link down in the description below, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. If this worked for you, leave a comment below, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.